So it's time to celebrate aging and stop running from it. We're talking about how to love your life after 40 and embrace that age is just a number. Gaynell and Condi back on the show to show us how turning 40 should not feel like the death of our youth. I think you're here for me. <laughs> I had the hardest time turning 40. You did? I really did. I did too, but 41, I was fine. I agree. Like, once you can accept it, I cried yeah. in the shower yeah. for at least six mornings. But for then. me, it was like, at 40, is this really my halfway point? And what are they going to say about me at the funeral? That's why I wigged out a little bit. Is, was it tougher than 30? Uh-huh. I agree. I thought it was tougher and than 30. And I was 30. mad the whole day that I was a cliche. And so we're going to bust the cliche today. Okay, let's do that. Okay, because I feel like sometimes, even driving into the studio today, there's a huge billboard. I won't say which company, what plastic surgeon, is like, look better because you have to look younger. And I think there's just that idea. And I'm not here to debate whether or not we should try to age gracefully because I think that is everyone's choice. But I do think there's something really beautiful about age and we're not embracing it. So we're gonna talk about it. There is something, about, and I don't know why that was particularly harder than another age for yeah. me. I don't know why, but I mean, 40-ish has not been as no. hard as that just number 47, over. I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. 45. There we go. This is what we're saying. So I would just say first on the, uh, on the outset, I think that as you get older, I'm not chasing around babies right now. I'm not awake all night with a teething baby. So I think, you know, the fact that we have a little bit more time as we get older is something that doesn't happen when you're younger. Mm -hmm. And I think we should kind of celebrate that as our kids become more self-sufficient, then there can be a readjustment of self-time, marriage time, friend time. The next one is my favorite because I wholeheartedly agree that you find your who you are in your 40s more than any other age. And, and when I say comfortable in my own skin, it doesn't mean every day I look at my skin and go, I rock, I'm the most beautiful looking thing I've ever seen. But I do think inside, I don't feel this insideness that is like at constant conflict with myself. I do feel a sense of comfort about the fact that overall, I've lived with myself for 40 years and I'm comfortable with who I am and, and I know I'm me and I don't have to be you if you're standing next well, to me. Well, and don't you find you stop competing with I, other women especially and you start celebrating yeah. what's wonderful about them rather than the up and down and do I measure up? Well, and I think that's the shift in our priorities. That's the next thought is that, you know, I did a little survey before, a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. before coming on and I, it was like the most popular question I've ever asked on social media. All the over 40s were just like, I have the greatest friends now. I get to spend time with my grandkids. I get, my friends are my lifelong friends. Like I have a good collection of good friends and, and the older I've gotten, those people that I still have in my life matter a lot to me. So that shift in priority, instead of comparing and competing with someone else, I'm trying to live my best life. You know? I love the focus on this rather than the grays and right. rather than all the rest of the stuff that we all st we all complain about. To well, all the and time. you know what? I don't want to. Once in a while, I hear like my grandma coming out of my mouth or my grandpa because I'll look at some trend and I'll think, really, mm -hmm. that's what we're gonna do, you know? And I'm I'm not just saying pants on the ground or whatever crazy, right? I do think sometimes that I still want to be current and I want to feel like I know what the new app is, but I don't feel this pressure that I have to have the best technology or the best, you know, like, um, wardrobe that competes with whatever's in the magazine at, at the time. I've come to know what I like and, and I don't feel like I have to conform so much to what everyone else is doing. What about this one, making better choices? Well, I hope so. Well, we have perspective. I don't know if I make the best choices all the time, but well, I do have perspective on my choices. Yeah, and I think wisdom is different than knowledge and wisdom comes from experience. And so sometimes I have to be careful because I feel like I've met someone like that before. I've had that experience before and I can play the whole story out before. So, but I do trust that um, also I can survive the bad choices. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're 20 and 30, sometimes it felt like the end of my world if I felt like I was going to fail at something. And now I kind of trust that, you know what, maybe I won't be perfect at it, but I trust the experience a little bit more. I like this one too. Let's wrap up with this one. You're still attractive. Come on. Well, regardless of the billboards. I I don't care what age you are. Well, and you know what, honestly, if 
confidence is the seed of real beauty, then women over 40 and men over 40 should be the most beautiful people mm -hmm. on the planet. And stop believing that every billboard is saying the only way you're beautiful is if you stay young. My grandma's wrinkles on her hands were some of the most beautiful things. And I think I've shared this before. She had to like lift up her eyelid to put on her eyeshadow because her eyes, her eyes had drooped so she much. She earned it. But she was so beautiful and it was her, it was her laughing and loving and life that I could see on her and she still cared about her hair and her nails and her clothes and really great shoes. Gaina Lynn is so fun everyone if you've not read her books you need to she's a public speaker as well go to our website we'll link you to all of her information that's her website Gaina Lynn Condi but go to goodforyoutah.com slash gtu it'll all be right there. You know this really was for Brian because someone's turning 40 this year. Wow. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And Brian you look very seasoned over Oh there. geez. <laughs> Wait,